Well, good evening. Welcome back to 3 News. A live look outside our studios on SPID on the south side. Mostly clear skies with a few high level clouds working into the south and east. Thanks to the area of uh, disturbance that gave us some rain yesterday and some clouds this morning finally breaking up. But a clear and comfortable night up ahead and a high temperature of 73 was recorded. We started the day at 60. Uh, you know, compare that to average. We should be in the upper 60s. Mornings we should be in the upper 40s. So it just kind of tells you and indicates what kind of air mass and kind of what patterns in place. Very warm and very humid for this time of year. All right, so what to expect tonight? Temperatures in the low 60s, upper 50s through about 9 and 10 o'clock. Sunset around 605, so in the next 20 minutes or so. Again, under mostly clear skies, a comfortable night ahead at 76 for right now. Dew points at 60. East southeast winds are at least east northeast winds at 5 to 10 miles an hour. And that's bringing in cooler and drier air, and that's going to lead to a very comfortable night ahead. But look at the recovery earlier this afternoon. Temperatures were in the low to mid 80s, 83 in Falfury, 79 in Kingsville. Look at that. Very warm for you know, late January, midwinter standards, low 70s here in the city earlier this afternoon. Right now we're still in the mid 70s and some low 80s out to our south and west Clayburg and also Jim Wells County. Temperatures won't get as cold tonight. We're talking mid 50s as you wake up on your Monday morning. Some spots out to our north and west Beeville, George West, Mathis may hit around 51, 50, but not expecting any cold temperatures or even uh, 40s on the map by early tomorrow morning. So right now clear skies you'll notice over this 12 hour loop. A lot of the clouds are exiting out in the Gulf of Mexico, taking the rain with with it and in its wake, just clear skies, very comfortable temperatures and nationally very chilly out to our north and west 43 in Salt Lake City, 50 in Denver and some cooler air pulled out to our north and that's where our next system is going to start to take shape and kind of push into the coastal bend into our viewing area by Tuesday into Wednesday and with it a small chance at rain. But here's the setup high pressure out to our north and west. This will drop down by tomorrow and just create another fantastic Monday up ahead and then watch future cast. The next seven days is played out on this particular model run. High pressure moves off to the east by Monday night to Tuesday and with it an area of low pressure makes room for South Texas and that'll give rise to a few just a few isolated showers Tuesday afternoon and a Tuesday evening. This will be a quick mover as it moves out. Wednesday looks fantastic sunny skies and then we look off to the west for another area of disturbed weather and that'll give rise to another chance at seeing some rain for right now Thursday and Friday look to be our best shot at seeing isolated scattered showers Tuesday just a, a very small chance but Thursday and Friday Again, scattered rainfalls in the forecast for South Texas. All right, so high of 74 is expected by tomorrow under mostly sunny skies. Winds very light, 10 to 15 miles an hour. Temperatures about 5 to 10 degrees above average for, you know, again, late January. Our 70 forecast shows a two cold fronts in the forecast. Tuesday will spark a small chance at rain. Wednesday looks fantastic. Upper 40s in the morning, upper 60s in the afternoons. Thursday and Friday, again, that disturbed area of low pressure works in from the west. Now give rise to another chance at seeing some isolated to scattered showers. All right, that's it for the forecast. Keep it here on 3 News. Travis Green with Sports. He's up next.